right so this will be my delivery story um i said i wasn't going to say it earlier but i have a little bit more time on my video is short um so yeah my delivery was like i wasn't ready because um i wanted baby to be born in july that's daddy birth baby daddy's hubby's birth month and i wanted them to be um born in the same month i didn't know that i was having a boy if i was having a boy or a girl because i hid the, the gender from myself so i told nobody to tell me even though they kind of spoiled it but you know i put it back on my mind so like i didn't know for a fact oh it's a boy oh it's a girl um but yeah i went to i wanted baby to be born born in july like closer to july 10th thereabouts um because that's baby daddy's hubby's birthday um so i was in denial that baby was coming i went to the clinic um which is where i went and get did my checkup and stuff and we had our normal prenatal checkups on thursday and i did um i get my blood pressure tested and the nurse said that was asking me questions like are you okay it's like yeah i'm okay um i was there waiting a long while um i wanted to just get this over with because normally they take a, a good amount of time because um they run through some of the steps with the learning um doctors um so they took a they normally take a, a, a good amount of time but I, I went early that morning so I'd be up in the early section so I would get early and get to go home and do what I need to do which is get myself dolled up because um, yes I was in denial that baby is ready to come so the nurse did her checks on me um, she did my blood pressure and realized that my blood pressure was 180 over some 90 something which is too high so I was like, she was like, are you okay? Sure you're not feeling a pain? Um, I was like, no, I'm good. I just want to go home. She said, go home. Um, you're not going away. Them go keep you here. Them good little fit. Induce you. When I hear that word now, I was like, induce me. But I'm not ready. My business not do my foot no do because I was not ready. I did all tie up because I was supposed to get my hair braided on the Friday. Because I am 39 weeks and I'm in denial that baby is going to come. Because I was hoping baby would stay one more week for July. Um, so I there, I, I, um, I was with, dad, dad came with me that morning because babe was at work. Um, he's normally with me but that morning he was at work. He was on the morning um, graveyard shift so he was just coming home. Um, was that so? No, he was with me. Well, I don't remember. I don't remember right now. I think that was with me. No, babe was with me. Babe was with me. Yes, babe was with me. And dad had to rush to home and get the bag, the baby bag. Because everything was packed already. But I physically was not ready. Because I wanted to get my nails. Well, not done, but fix up you know clip on stuff and my foot soaks so my foot but i'm gonna stay bad when i in the bed laying down and get my hair done none of that was done so i was like i want to go home so she said all right you need to go in the other room and wait on doc she'll tell you what, whatever doctor say doc i was there waiting a while talking to some other mom there overheard um the doc, the nurse said oh you're gonna get induced so one of them said you know said so that's hot right boy she was not telling any lie so they're waiting doctor came now um doctor came now and she checked and i was about two cent two three centimeters dilated she said you know you're going to stay here so you need to tell baby daddy to get his stuff get your stuff 
as I know, but I'm not ready. Um, well, well, it was so I was talking to babe via the phone and stuff like that, and because, um, the normally come in the, the checkup room with us can, but he normally just stays in the general area with the other dads. Um, but all right, so they said they go introduce me now. She inject me with something he was in the room and um, she asked him to excuse me um, and then she did some check she induced me she put her hands in and do some movement and that hurt like a bitch those silver stuff if you're a woman and those silver stuff that the gyno the gynecologist used does not compare to that pain that i felt i think that was the hottest part about delivering baby no joke so she do her check give me the injection to induce labor do some turning to help the process and i was in tears babe came in came back in the in the room and i was like babe what happened i was like she did something and it hurt all right so after that they moved me on to the ward got a bed carrying me up and leaving the clinic that was the last time I was on my foot until baby was here they said I couldn't walk around I couldn't do anything like um, I remember and just wanting to get up because I picture like I've been able to just walk around and baby come down naturally and all of that but no baby did not want to do that baby decided that he was ready and he is coming coming and whatever in in putting pressure on my body even though me and i feel it i think i have a, a strong pain tolerance or probably if it was somebody else they would have feel it but i was fine like physically no headache no pain no nothing but my blood pressure was high and baby had to come Alright, so we're there. They're telling me that baby is moving along slowly. Um, so around in the evening time, no baby was still there. Um, we were in on the ward, and she do a couple checks well. And again, that to push up and something and turn something, plus the injections that they had to give me. Um, every three hours i believe so that i don't get pre and like as i according to them dead upon them um that was what inducing with the hand i don't know what they call it what the inducing with the hand and the movement that plus the injections that i had to get every um oh what they say i had was pre which i didn't have it throughout my pregnancy but i had it for delivery so my blood pressure was elevated and baby had to come so that I don't die and baby don't die. So every two hours or every three hours I believe they had to give me an injection on my buttock. That hot cause the needle big and it long. Big and long. I'm not afraid of needles. As I said, I have a high pain tolerance. So it's not about the pain per se, but it's hot. It's not hot for me. But no, so enough people can't manage it. So yeah. So baby, it's getting later in the, in the night. Mind you, I'm a person. I sleep when I'm in pain. So I totally was in and out of sleep. Babe was there trying to to um to comfort me. I couldn't eat. So. I didn't have nothing I don't believe I had like to my remembrance I didn't have nothing in the morning so I didn't have nothing till the next day after baby so I I was just there in the bed can't move um, in, in in pain because of my buttocks like to the point where I couldn't even sit on my buttocks I had to lay on my side first time in 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 hospital because I've never been in a hospital before thank God and then first time with a catheter so it was very uncomfortable very new 
waiting for this baby to come in pain and then babe couldn't really sleep um in the hospital because i didn't get we didn't get a private room um we were hoping it would not have been necessary um but he was there in in the little sec um area with me until I, I think he left around two in the morning but some late hours like i don't know no time i was looking at no phone mind you i didn't have no good phone at the time so i was so i wasn't even interested in my phone i was not interested in my phone at all like before i got my phone this for my birthday this all of my phone name was flop i could take pictures here and there yes because i had an iphone 5c or whatever you want name so it could take good picture but i wasn't interested so even with baby's pictures like i, I didn't get to take or i didn't take as much pictures and then because we weren't ready i didn't even have my camera to do videos and stuff like that um but yeah babe was tired because he was working on his car because i right around the same time his car was giving some trouble so he was working on car he started his big or what you would have called it va um, vacation for baby being born around the same time but he was working so he was really tired and was uncomfortable because he had to sleep in a chair um so he left late in the in the late in the morning late in the morning and got home and got some rest um so i was there all alone um in and out of sleep in pain like um i woke up one of the time then and it, like after she act they actually induced me fully like broke my water so yes as i said the pain of the movement inside like every time they ask babe to excuse out of the room i'm going back a little every time they ask babe to come out of the room and he comes back in i'm in tears i'm like babe they do that something they that same something that we can't disturb it but i'm always in tears it's like hush babe hush hush every every time so the last um well not the last time but um when after they broke my water now they they had me sit up and do all kind of something can't go into too much detail kind of gruesome i never see no blood but they they broke my water at this point so um i think i was about five centimeters around that time and that was late in the night that was before baby left so that was late in the night so after he left now um around some time like three four i can't remember i was in dire pain i didn't get any epidural because they induced me everything started quickly um so i didn't get any epidural so i was feeling all the pain so i was shouting on top of my voice like to to get something nobody would get me anything like the nice nurse was the daytime nurse like if, after that i barely see anybody um when the doctors did came they just came to inject me and move it move it right along um so the nice nurse which is the one that delivered my baby was the daytime nurse like she was nice like she met me when i was chirping and even when she came back the other morning she was like you were in pain because you were chirpy and you were um maneuverable and everything i was like get this baby also <laughs> like when she came back on chief in the morning she's like hi are you okay i was like no i want some meds i need some medication i need some painkiller i need something she's like you can't really get anything at this point but i'll try and see what they can do what they can put in your drip and whatever 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 so i um after everything like in the morning still feeling it still pushing they were like um mommy you can't push because the baby is turned sideways and if you do you're going to squash his head so i'm in the bed can't move can't do nothing feeling a whole lot of pressure on my belly bottom and they're like don't push i'm like i can't do this how can i not push when my body is saying push so i'm there squinting and squeezing and trying not to push but i feel like i was pushing 
So, alright, it comes to the morning now. Close up. So, when baby's born, they're doing their checks. They're there. And as I said, the, ner the nice nurse came at this point and she was talking to me. I was begging for painkillers because that's all I wanted to do. She was trying to coach me into not pushing because the baby. Um, when they started to talk to me, they were saying that um, the baby was turned, he was turned on his side. Because, like, before when he, um, whatever, when we, when we did our um, ultrasounds, he was normally face up to, to my tummy. So he was, like, looking up on my navel, like, you know, in essence. Um, so they say he was turned, he was down, he was down, but he was turned sideways. So they're trying to maneuver him a little and then his little his little big head that's what i was saying because was being squashed by me trying not to squeeze and there was still more um i was about eight centimeters dilated and um i couldn't pull it no more at this point i was speaking to the nurse i was like can you do that thing again because she, she knew i never like it uh, she said um the only way you you could probably get a little bit more dilated so you can start pushing because i was under pressure was and she said it was to do the thing <laughs> that thing i was like really that i can't take it but i was like all right all right come do the thing do the thing and she did it and uh, in a in a couple in a couple of seconds she was like all right i'm going to tell them to prep the room because i was i was literally on the brink of him being able to push at that point so i moved a lot quicker like in the morning because as i said i was like five or something in the wee early morning or night morning night thereabouts and then i moved quicker quicker like speedily um, I don't even remember how many hours I was in labor, like, factual, like, because, as I said, I was induced, I was just there, I was without time, because I didn't even visible my phone, my bag, or whatever, and then, bad story, I found out later, because I didn't even visible no purse or nothing, that I, somebody took money out of my purse that's how bad it was but it's feeling a whole lot of pressure and i couldn't take the pressure no more because i'm gonna tell myself i can't push no baby mother you can't push because the baby you're gonna squeeze the baby head or you can cut off whatever i need to turn him because we don't know if the umbilical cord was wrapped around his finger which it was not thankfully he was still turned um in a weird angle i think he was sideways if i if i recall properly like um yeah he was turned on his side and he needs to be turned um to be able to come out properly um so i was feeling a lot of pressure a lot of pressure and i couldn't hold it because it feel it, if you know to the kegels it feel like they're telling me to do a kegel and hold it like you can't really do that for too long and i was feeling pressure like I could not so I tell the lady for do the little something I must say and she said alright that give, give you enough room so you can put you can push now she said they're going to clear um make sure the the um um what do you call it operating room was was clean and ready for me and it will be just be a minute or so at this point babe was not here as yet because he had difficulty car car troubles on the, in in the morning and was trying to find his way my dad was was um my dad was um was in the waiting room however i think my dad and my aunt was in the waiting room but they were waiting on babe because he was trying to get some stuff quickly for the car so like I could get to go home or whatever so he had transportation to whatever to to carry us home like i don't know why this car de decided to stop where the right around the, the this time but it was giving him trouble so he barely made it like barely made it i'm thankful that he did um but yeah bear in mind let, let's go back a little like we're in the room that we i was 
there were about three other beds and mothers were coming in and out and going and leaving me in there so i was frustrated like especially in the night i hear a lady start screaming and then just wheel her off and baby born you start hear baby and cry in the night i'm like what well, one for me i'm not getting no payments and me, me, me frustrated but all right now it's in the morning now around 10 and she said all right you can can push they did what they needed to do like whatever and um switched me to another bed and carried me into the operating room and um my dad came to the door and said um all right he's downstairs he's coming up you now so i was like i was a little bit more relieved and a little bit more calm so he quickly washed himself up and came in the room i started to push right away when them said all right mom um they said what they said to me when you feel the contractions that's when you should push so i was in the pushing position and they say i need to push when i feel it's it's better for me to push when i feel the contractions so i wasn't feeling them a lot like how i see them described or portrayed in movies because I have a high printer so I wasn't really feeling it. I felt them but not as much. So I just pushed. I pushed about three times and baby was here. Because I could not wait. I was done holding it. At the last push I didn't feel any contraction. If I was being honest I did not feel a contraction. I just pushed and I pushed as hard as I could and the the nurse delivered my baby but the um the head nurse was the one who had to come in like right before i fully pushed she turned the baby because he was still turned um on his side so they had to position him properly so i could push him um without any problem and funny enough that nurse was a nurse that knew my aunt who was in all the way in Dubai so she get picture and excitement from before our peak when they in the country and I, that was so um surprising and amazing like pe persons know me know my family and could take care of me and make sure I'm alright and me not even didn't know them but yeah big up the head nurse I don't remember her name right now and my auntie we get picture from the from, all the way from Dubai from when baby born um but yeah so i pushed baby i pushed the last push and baby was out um when he came out he was not making any sound um he didn't make any he didn't cry i didn't get to hold him on my chest they just whisked, whisked him off and baby daddy went with him um hubby went with him um and made sure that he was okay then like two seconds after i heard him cry out um so they they did what they had to do um in the meantime they were stitching what needs to be stitched take out what needs to be taken out they said a little bit of fecal came out but nothing to be worried about because it came out at the last minute so um i was stitch i just I, at that point i was just paying attention and i i was like being followed it followed me because i you know you hear so much story about people switch baby and all these things but i want that i'm to my baby so i was like baby follow the baby and i was just listening because i was concerned because i wanted to hold him and, and at that point i was like can i take a picture she, they were like no and i'm very sad about that because i saw a person take picture I'm um, baby daddy could take a picture but he took pictures when they were um out there with him but not in the operating room and stuff um but i am so happy that everything was okay he came out fine he came out with a little bit of smush head so i was like so worried that it would he wouldn't he would have like because it, it looked like a cone so I was like worried that my baby would have cone hairs, but when my cousin came, she said he would outgrow that it will come to natural shape or whatever, which it did because his head looked perfectly fine now. Thank God, cause 
that cone head that you did have because mommy push it was trying to not push but she was still pushing was not cute <laughs> but yeah that, that was my birth story it's all over the place and it might be choppy but that was my birth story um unexpected because i was in denial that baby was ready at 39 weeks i was like baby can be overdue and born in daddy mode but funny enough he was right at the first day of the same sign so they're under the same sign so i'm kind of happy and relieved i'm not totally a horoscope horoscope person but i like those sentimental thing i guess um so they're under the same the same sign and stuff so yeah but trust me if you are mom to be make sure you fix up yourself two weeks in advance don't follow me and wait till the last minute because i wanted to be a hot girl and in denial so baby ready for come so my ended wrap up with scarf with yeah foot never smooth like it should have been so you know you in a one general era i am foot might be out from off on the social media for keep my foot under the sheet Kafu never stay good at all. But yeah, motherhood has been a journey and I'm enjoying it. Um, making baby food, the educational stuff, which is what I'm all about. Um, persons like to this day, persons are surprised when they see how he interacts or how he talks. Like somebody saw him today, I was wondering if he was three because he was like reading words. Like we were in a furniture store and he saw the word black point and he was like black 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 she's like how old is he i was like one yeah my baby can read and he's a boy make it even better for me because i want him to be advanced because i'm always a girl advanced and so but anybody can be advanced just what yeah, that was my delivery story and i hope you guys enjoyed this part how choppy the video is because i know it's choppy because it it kept going but i hope i could get it together so you guys understand or got my story um it was a very interesting story my ear never do i didn't want to go on my yard i never did a feel no pain but i could have did if i go on my yard because my pressure was at the limits that you could just fall down and have a whatever um, blood vessel burst so um in spite of i have a beautiful i am so happy to be a mom today um would i do it again yes because i want another child i don't want him to be a, a own child but not for now um so yeah thank you guys for watching um and remember to wear the best you for the world to see be the best mom that you want to be okay um thank you guys again and love you dolls